I think I have an idea. Welcome back to the Do Show. If you are watching or streaming this episode, thank you so much for tuning in. I have a great show for you guys today. Now, I got two new guest co-hosts. One guest co-host that has been back, that is back for his fourth appearance. Please welcome Bless Applesauce, Asada the Prodigy, and Nigel. Back for my second appearance. <laughs> Basically. Y'all didn't see the first one, but it's okay. The first one got messed up. Yeah, I was in that one too, so you know. Just second appearance. Prodigy two times. <laughs> it, it was just me and the dude because I was such a special guest that he just had it. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, yeah, All right. exactly. All right. Exactly. Y'all chilling? Y'all good? Y'all want to get into these topics quickly? For sure. Let's go. All right. So now it, we are in the holiday season. We are in the month of December. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Okay. And I'm hearing that with everything going on in the world, Decorating early can actually boost your mood. Now, I know it's the holiday season now, but let's just take it back when we were at Thanksgiving. Feel me? So, uh, decorating early can actually boost your mind. But American radio personality, person, but American, but American radio personality, Ryan Seacrest, beg to differ on if it is too early by tweeting in part. I'm told it's too early to put up a Christmas tree. Need you to weigh in on need you to weigh in on this at Mariah Carey. Well, guess what? Not only did J Lo respond by tweeting in part, go for it. However, Mariah responded tweeting in part, it's definitely too early, Ryan. I told you to get through Thanksgiving first. So you guys, what do you think about this deck of halls debate? They obviously don't got no Christmas period, obviously. Because if you would know, you'll be watching Christmas movies from the beginning of November all the way to Christmas and even January. The whole winter should be Christmas themed. If you don't have a Christmas tree up in any time of the winter, you're a terrible person. That's it. As simple as that. Uh, do we really need anybody else's opinion? <laughs> So if I see you and I'm at your house and you don't have a Christmas tree up right now, you do you you looking at this video right here? Or listening to this? Terrible person. <laughs> um I would just like to say one thing. Um Okay. I, I feel very passionate about this topic, right? So, you know, um people uh, of course it's Christmas movies, Christmas music decorations, stuff like that. I don't care what time of the year we're in, unless we're in December, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. so people people in, oh, October or November, they're like, oh yeah, it's Christmas season, Christmas season. First of all, we gotta get through Thanksgiving first. Um, mm -hmm. Gotta get through Thanksgiving first. Yes, sir. But yes. even if we're done Thanksgiving, like let's say it's like November 29th, I still don't wanna have anything to do with Christmas. <laughs> unless it's um December. I mean, like, I take that back. I want to, I mean, talking about Christmas is cool, but, like, I don't want to watch any Christmas movies. I don't want to listen to any Christmas music. I don't want to listen to any of that unless it's December. If it's, I don't, what, what? Charlie Brown? No, no, Rudolph no. the Red Nosed Reindeer? Yeah. Frosty hey. the Snowman? Hey. Hey. Frosty hey. the Snowman don't like you no more. You know, he ain't even going to show up in winter no more. All your snowmen that you build from now on will be cursed. Wow. <laughs> All your snowmen will melt. Dude, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something and about this. And they will flop thing. over, and you can't put any carrots in them. Let me tell you or something. Buttons or a hat or nothing. Let me tell you something. I, I know, I know people who are watching Home Alone and Home Alone Two and Home Alone Three on Thanksgiving Day. Let me tell you that exactly. right now. Exactly, it's so and annoying, bro. However, so annoying. however, I understand this debate right here because every year I have it with a bunch of my friends because sorry, man. Uh, I think I think people have their own uh, 
they have a stigma. Some, a lot of people have a stigma of how they think, you know, Thanksgiving and then Christmas should work. And you, got, you gotta go. You gotta go one holiday at a time. You but know? see, not everybody believes in that. You gotta go one they, holiday at a time. Because they just cannot like... wait. Because guess what? When January comes, guess what? New Year's Eve after a new, you know, new after New Year's Day. Guess who's taking the Christmas tree down? Everybody else does. Oh, yeah. That's that started. You know, doing Christmas, um, putting up the Christmas tree on on November twenty sixth. I'm, I'm just saying, like Christmas. Uh, after Black this, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let my guy bless that applesauce talk. But um, unless it's December, I don't want to watch any Christmas movies. I don't want to listen to any Christmas music. I don't want to see any Christmas decorations unless it is in the month of December. Cause I don't see any point of having Christmas lights up or anything, in June, June July, July, August, whatever, any month. Besides December, I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to watch it. What about the scenery? The scenery? No, I like the, I, 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 the decorations. The decorations are cool. The decorations. The decorations are cool. It's just if it's not if it's not December, I don't want to see it. What you got to say, blessed episode? So all three of these guys have it all wrong. They do not know what they're talking about. Do so, you realize how we didn't give blessed applesauce any airtime for the past <laughs> eight minutes? Because this, this right here, is the reason the why. The Hadoo show sponsors all time. Let's all time. Go ahead, I'm sorry. All right, so. The way to correctly do Christmas. <clears throat> Christmas is a, a great time of the year. The way to finish off a year is the lights, the green and the red, and the, the carols, and all that stuff like that, nice and cold. It brings people together. So to hold off on that, to prolong it until like the last week is not a good idea. Um, we that's that's what I was saying. You know what? what? This is we, exactly why we, we gave him airtime because he knows <laughs> what he's talking about. We we don't need to do it the day after Thanksgiving, but December we have we have a beautiful thing called the Twenty Five Days of Christmas. Somebody get this man a TV show. <laughs> Security. We have this thing called we have this thing called Twenty Five Days of Christmas. So I feel like the December first, Twenty Five Days, is a perfect window to have your Christmas carols, your Christmas music, your Christmas lights, your your, your reefs and all the other stuff. And you have a perfect window of three weeks to enjoy. After that, uh, you can kind of decide. Some people like to slowly take their stuff down. Some people like to wait till uh, New Year's Day. Me, I like after New Year's because it feels like. The festivities aren't over until the year is over because you still have New Year's and people are celebrating the New Year and stuff like, like that. So yeah. the 25 days of Christmas, knock it out, enjoy it. After that, the week after New Year's, enjoy it. And then after New Year's, it starts all to coming down a little bit. People start taking that stuff down. I feel like that's the perfect window. So December 1st to the end of the year, that's your window. Celebrate Christmas, have fun. 25 days of Christmas. I take by the Girl, way, I, I, I take I take back what I said about Bless Applesauce not getting no airtime. I'm sorry, okay. sir. <laughs> sir. No, no, no. Let me explain something. I'm sorry, because you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Let me explain he, something right he's here. Kinda right, right now, so I honestly okay. can't say nothing else. Let, let me explain something. I don't disagree with that statement. I think all of us have a different preference. And I, you know, I know everybody watching or streaming this episode, they oh they're they're already just attacking me right now. I believe sometimes I can be on time when it comes to the holidays and, you know, when it comes around and I'm like, oh, guess what? Actually, I mean, I don't know why I like, I like using this microphone. But I think uh, when it comes to the holidays, uh, sometimes I can, you know, be procrast- I can, I can, I can procrastinate a lot in getting, you know, some uh, reefs up and some um, lights up in my room and, you know, um, even on, I mean, even now I'm I'm lacking because I'm like I've been doing so much, I've been through so much, and even for this year I don't even feel that best thing to do, you know. But so much Christmas uh, um, decorations, I think I just want to just gifts like give money and stuff like that. Like right now, I'm I'm done doing stuff for myself for right now. I know I've been through so much. I've cried. I've I've, I've I've shouted, I've, I've, you know, <laughs> I've done so much. I, I've been, do, you know, working and putting my blood, sweat, and tears in every project that I've been on. and Entertainment and, you know, my in, in my lifetime of doing this show and my acting and my music. However, I, I think there are some years where I'm like on it and I'm like, 
yeah, let's go. We're going big. And then there are some times where I'm like, you know what? I can procrastinate and wait until like December 4th or this, or until uh, December 4th till, I don't know, January 4th or January 8th. I don't, you know, like you said, there are fest, there are people, you know, who want to keep going throughout the um, year in January because they still think it's festive, but it, de it depends on how I feel, that's all. I mean, yeah, that's a valid answer. That's, that's, that's a valid answer. I kinda, I kinda agree with boys too, cause you know, after Christmas, you just not feel it, you know? It's just, 25 days of Christmas, from December 1 to December 25th. Just, and after Christmas, it doesn't feel the same. Like, if you're uh, do watching Christmas movies and stuff like that in like June, What's, what's the point of that? There's no point in rushing, you know. You can take your time putting down your Christmas. Your Christmas gifts are under the tree. You're not trying to take them down right after Christmas. You're trying to flex your Christmas gifts, your PS5 that just came in brand new. That isn't coming to your Christmas door. <laughs> I sure couldn't get one. But yeah, you want to flex the PS5 that you got? Sold out. It's sold out. Yeah. For now. All your gifts. You wanna you wanna keep them in until like the middle of January, maybe until like the end of January, and then you can take all those things down because everybody already saw your gifts. They know that you're flexing on everybody for the entire new year, and then after that, it's over. Ooh, if you could bring your tree down. That's it. You watch all your Christmas exactly. movies. You flex on the people. You let them know how you're coming into 2021 because 2020 was terrible. <laughs> Amen. Come on, somebody. And then you can take down your tree after that. Let me tell you something. Then I know some people who actually have played the PlayStation 5 who live in Maryland, and you know them oh. too. <laughs> the Dobre do oh. do Brothers? My friend John. I don't know them. <laughs> hey, tell, tell whoever you know to send me a PS5. I will put my ad I will put my address on here, but that's dangerous. Not only but if you can send me a PS5 in any type of way. Please send it to my house. I cannot tell you my address, but that's okay. <laughs> Just send me my PS5. Not only, not only do they have one, but they bought three. Three, three exactly. See, yeah. Here's send me one. Here's send the thing. me one. Um, so send me, send me one. I live on one two three Main Street, um, LA, California. Um, uh, we gotta take a quick. Uh, we gotta take a quick commercial break though. There's more there too. So after this, stick around. Stick around. Welcome back to the Do Show. Uh, so, we were just talking amongst each other before uh, we were taping the show, and I really want to get your opinion on if iPhones or Androids are better. But, not just are they better, are they reliable? Is the camera quality good? Y'all tell me in the comments, and you guys let me know. Contact me if you're team, streaming team. this episode. iPhones or Androids? The debate starts now. It's right, team. Right. Let, me, right. let, me, let me carry this one real quick. Uh, it was team Android every day, all day. The only reason why people like iPhones is because everybody has an iPhone. That is the only draw to them. If everybody has the same pair of shoes on, does that make them better? If everybody drives a Toyota Camry, does it make it a better car? Does every, if everybody uses the same basic thing all the time, does it make it better? No, it does not. The only thing the iPhone has is the FaceTime. That's the only thing people care about. That's kind of if, why. If, and if you have an Android, you can still FaceTime your friends without using that actual FaceTime app. Zoom. That's not FaceTime. No, which, that which is sometimes not the same as has, FaceTime. Which sometimes has even better quality than FaceTime. But y'all iPhone users don't notice. Now look, look, look. Y'all saw the new iPhone that came out. I know y'all saw that iPhone 12. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all got your package. Y'all was like, ooh, for Christmas I got a new iPhone. I paid $100 extra, but it doesn't matter because I got a new phone with new features. No, you're wrong. It's the same phone, but the only thing that changed is the fact that they don't want you to have a charger anymore. So they gave you a phone, but at the same time, you can't charge your phone. So you can't even turn it on when you get it because you can't even charge it. No headphone jack either. 
Yeah, no headphone jack either. So, I mean, you got to pick your poison. If your earphones break, what you going to do? You going to you gonna get your iPhone out and, and plug it into the charging port? I mean, you, you already can't charge a phone, so I guess you can't put your earphones in there because they ain't even give you a charging box. It's crazy. But, you know, it's up to y'all. If y'all want to be... I want to be like everybody else get the iPhone. It's okay. But I'm just letting you know it's a little bit sweeter over here on the Android side. The grass is a little bit greener. The sun is shining. I forgot to talk about the, the music. The owls are moving. I forgot to talk about the music. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the music. Y'all got to pay for music. Y'all got to pay for Apple Play and all this stuff. Guess what I pay for my music? Free 99. <laughs> No, 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 no. That is not a currency. That is actually zero. I don't pay anything. Guess how much music I got on my phone? Over a thousand songs. I can get whatever I want. I can download whatever I want. While your iPhone users are paying like, I don't know what it is, probably like ten, twenty dollars a month. Just to play some music that I can pay for free on my Android and a quality sound just as good. I, I, a dollar, a dollar for one song, one song, a dollar for one song, and um, I don't, and the albums cost like ten to eighteen dollars. Exactly, uh, you know. it's crazy. I'm, over, I'm, I'm exposing Apple. You know, you're not slick, Apple. You're not slick. Y'all, okay. y'all, y'all, y'all can't get y'all music for free, and on top of that, you can't even have enough battery to get the music because you can't charge your phone. Okay, let me say this though. Let me say this. And I, and I know you used to do this. I don't know if you still do this, but I'm somebody like right now, I have a phone, but I'm also going to get one for like my personal use. And then one as a work phone. And one, and one of them is going to be an iPhone and the other one's going to be a Google Pixel. Smart man. But I'm not doing that to please people. I'm doing that because I know it's that, better. Because you know it's better. But, and I didn't say the Android was better. I just said I'm using it for work use, not because it's better. No, because it's better. Just like you remember, you said he's to, saying it's better. I didn't say that. You said you're not getting it to not please. You, you said you're not getting it, it to please people. Let's let's say it is. People, what, it, what, I mean, what I mean by that is, guys, calm down. It's just a show. <laughs> okay, let's say it is now. Let's say iPhone is better for community only because everybody has an iPhone. But if you actually want a phone with better quality and actually have a cheaper price with it and get a bang for your buck, you're going to want to pick the Android because the features are just not comparable to the iPhone. The iPhone is good, but the Android is better. better. iPhone has a lot of problems that the Android fixes. Y'all got this huge notch in y'all phone. I don't even have a notch in my phone. The whole thing is a screen. Y'all over here looking at like a black top on, on the top of the phone. It's not okay. It's, it's okay to get something else for Christmas. It's okay. Y'all can be different. Y'all can, can strive to do better. But, you know, it's 2020. I mean, y'all do weird things we anyway. Weird things happen, but 2021, I'm trying to get y'all on the right track. So 2021, get you an Android. Maybe you won't suffer from 2021, the iPhone X is coming. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's talk about this for a second, for a second, before I let you, before I go uh, and end this show for a second. So, I found out, and you know what? I'm trying to hold on. I want y'all to. So you have something to say? Yeah, just something, something real quick. Here, so I want to pull up something I, on not, the television. I want to show you guys. I'm not. So leave Nigel for and talk. You got blessed apple sauce. He talk. Um. So, um. I'm not. I'm not on Apple side, but I'm not on Android side. You know, usually, usually I'm on Apple side, but this time, I I've opened I've opened my eyes to see that, and doing with the iPhone. That I usually, that I, the one that I usually use, um, it be on like twenty percent and it dies on me, you know, and then and then it just turns back on automatically. It's weird and it doesn't have to update or restart or anything. It will just shut off on me. Sometimes the screen will freeze. It will kick me out of app. Sometimes I can't even play music on. Now I use Spotify and I don't got no Spotify premium because your boy broke. He don't got no four ninety nine. Pay for pay for no premium. And I, I bet your iPhone users did notice. But iPhone was actually dropping updates to slow your phone down so you can actually buy a newer phone. Apple is betraying the customers, but y'all keep on buying it. Because, because everybody, everybody else has iPhone. one. Exactly. And they think, 
Oh yeah, it's trending. Oh yeah, get the new eleven. First of all, we got no home button no more. It freezes. The charger breaks sometimes. It don't even let you use certain chargers. Like I bought this this uh this like five foot charger so it could stretch because I'd be on the couch sometimes and an outlet behind the couch. I can't even use that because it says this accessory or this 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 uh thing is not supported. Yeah, that's crazy. What, what am I supposed to do? Hey, now, if y'all that. keep on accepting this mediocre behavior from Apple, then you won't actually get a good product, man. If y'all say, we're going to demand for better, we're going to demand for better phone. Y'all didn't update the phone last year. They wouldn't actually give you a better product. You just got to challenge the consumer. If you're not challenging the consumer, they're going to they're gonna get you. They're going to use you for your money because they know that y'all going to buy it regardless. Whatever they put out, they know that they're going to get profit. So you, gotta, you, you, you can kind of, you something. can... You can tell Apple's trying to finesse people in these streets, you know? It's they a trying leap to... year, but ain't nothing leaping about their phone. I play <laughs> LeapFrog more than they leap their phone. And uh, I don't even have LeapFrog. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Apple, I'm not... So I was having a sleepover with this one dude. Uh, he was spending that at my house, best friend, you know? Um, and he has an Android, right? And he was on his phone, like, all night, pretty much. I was on the game. He was on his phone, like, all night. He has an Android, right? His camera quality, I'm not going to lie, Android camera quality is slightly better than Apple's. I will say that. I will say that. It's clear. I, I, I will give you that. I will give you that. And I feel not like Apple, this one. Not this one. Apple's kind of running out of ideas, though. Like you see you see three cameras? Now, now, now. It depends on what you see three phone cameras? you get. You get a high-quality Android. Because there's basic Androids and then there's the good ones. Y'all got to uh -huh. look at the good Androids. Versus the iPhone, but like and you'll recognize that a lot of the Androids are a step over iPhone in every single category. So just make sure you keep that in mind. You can't you can't put all Androids in one box. Get the high quality Androids with the iPhone, since y'all say it's the best phone ever. But if you have if you have a high quality a high quality iPhone like the newest phone right here, yeah. I, iPhone 12 Pro, and you put it up against the newest Android, that's debatable. But if you put it up like the iPhone like eight or something like that then against like an android like a, like the phone you have right there i would i would say android camera quality better their battery lasts longer and it takes uh it, it charges faster too well, so that's true, but we gotta i would have to say that and the music like now just said apple making us pay nine uh, 99 cents for one song no, before an album for an album Ten dollars, ten and twenty dollars. Come on, see, bro. You gotta Come understand on. that there are pros and cons to everything. There are there pros are. and cons to having an Android. You're there's right. Pros and cons to having an iPhone. And for anybody listening to this, we're not trying to push. Uh, I'm not. Try, at least I'm not. I don't know about these um, heifers right here. We're trying to push. We're to trying. Android. I'm trying to push everybody to get what is comfortable for I, them. Not if, what these. If somebody, people, if somebody, if somebody gives me an iPhone. Know, just so y'all know, this whole entire show was a trick. We got paid by Android, and y'all are so... No, 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 I'm not this, 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 by these. This right here is an Android ad. No, it's Over not. Your Samsung, we got a deal. <laughs> no, no, I'm no. Just playing. No. Nah, we, we don't got no ads. But if y'all do want to sponsor us, go ahead, hit up the do show because we, we will do something. I, I, I'll, I'll, switch, I'll switch for y'all, bro. I'll switch. Dude gets a lot of traffic, so if y'all Android uh, companies want to go ahead and get, get to do some money, we can make it happen. We can make we, it happen. We, we can make but, it happen. But, but, but that don't mean... That but don't, there's pros and there's pros that, that's to everything, you but, know? But that don't mean I'm going to switch all the way. I'm going to make and sure... Android, that, Android also costs less money, and I feel like they don't. their phones don't break as much. Like I, I feel like it. iPhone technically, like, intentionally does these types of things. Like, the amount of times... I've had to take my phone to the Apple store to get it fixed. I've had to search up on YouTube how to fix this on the iPhone is more than five times. I it shouldn't be that way. I got to explain to you something before we before we have to end this show because my time, we're going overtime a bit. Right now, this is the iPhone 12 Pro. Now, I understand where you guys are coming from with this. But let me tell you something. This is my opinion, my opinion only. I don't understand why you need to have three cameras, and I don't understand the features that are on this iPhone. They run out of ideas. To make it better. Show the now, new Android. Show now, the new Android. No, 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 no. But, 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 but okay, fine, fine. I'll show the, I'll show them the new Android in they're a right, second. But I just want to prove, I want to prove my point with this iPhone and Android debate right here. You see, that's why I'm getting one Android and one iPhone because. 
the one I'm gonna use to, you know, probably film vlogs and YouTube videos, and then I'm gonna get, you know, a camera later once I get a lot of funds and then get my studio. And then guess what? With the Android, I feel like I can store a lot of storage because I'm a big Google person, you feel me? And so I can, you know, do, store my Google Drive, my, 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 my photos, my Google Photos, uh, emails, files, uh, tracks, and, you know, I believe it's gonna be so incredible just to have two phones, but of different companies. Not saying that one is better than the other, and I'm not saying, oh, just because uh, I the iPhone 12, I'm not saying I'm gonna get the iPhone 12. I might just stick with the iPhone I have. Now, if this iPhone start bugging, then yeah, I'll upgrade to an iPhone 7, not the iPhone 12 or the next one that's coming up, because the next one's coming up, and. Um, and I'm not wrong when I say this because I saw it and I was trying to pull it up but I couldn't find it. You see, sorry, Nigel. So there's, there's, I keep hitting you, but there's this iPhone right here and it's not the iPhone 12, but it's the specific iPhone. If you guys can find it, send me a, a, an email or something. Get in contact with me because I'm trying to find it. There's an iPhone, there, no, there's an iPhone 12 that's later than this. They're creating it as we speak right now where they, it's, it's gonna be the iPhone and guess what? You're not gonna be able to swipe apps the apps are gonna be right here on the side. What is that? How are you supposed that might, to get That might be fake. You really, really? It are might, you sure? It might be real, I mean. Are you sure? Because that, that, I'm still that waiting. like that was coming soon. I'm still waiting on the clear phones that I saw a couple years back. Y'all, I'm serious. Oh, the holographic the phone, phones. Can I explain, can I, take, can I use this for a second? I wanna use this phone for a second. I wanna explain something to you. IPhone is more like clean, the, you know, like you see, new you, see, you see the iPhone up there, I'm just going to let you talk real quick, but the iPhone right here is clean, you know, it's smooth, the camera, the quality is clean, but I feel like Android, the way it works is probably more like, it just works better, kind this, of, you know? This is what the new iPhone's going to look like, if y'all pay attention here, uh, this is just, the, 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 this is, this is not an iPhone, but I'm just using it as a representation, see, there's going to be no buttons at all. This is what I saw, and I know this wasn't no crooked website. <laughs> and it was just, I, it was, this is an iPhone, and it was, it, it was just touch screen. And on, it was touch screen, and on the side, guess what? It was all of these apps. And this is a phone that was turned on. How are you gonna have a home screen with nothing on it, and then apps on the side? You know what, then, then, what do you, then what's the case for? What if you break this side? What, how are you supposed to turn your, your, your volume on, you know, up and down? Because guess what? You can't do that but because the apps are on the side. So what you're going to do? You're just going to have the off button? Like, what's Apple going to do? I'm not putting shade on Apple because I love Apple. Oh, I got much love for Apple. But I, 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 we got we to gotta do better in this society if we're going to um, advance in technology. That's they, all I'm saying. They run in, I feel like they're running out of ideas and they're trying to add more cameras and they don't know what to do to make the phones better. So they just drop in new phones every year, probably dropping like like one new feature and taking away one more thing that's crucial to the iPhone and then they gonna sell it for like a thousand people gonna buy it. It's whack. Apple get your stuff together. I know y'all wanna What you gotta say about this boys? Okay, hey, bless that song. What you gotta say about this? Let's take a look at the Androids real quick. How how good they look. You gotta how, go to the, how good they that's, look. Because uh, my mind's on something else here. You, you type it in. But I'm just telling y'all, this is not. This is. This this is, is the, the, mm, 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 mm. It's what? It's what? 20, either the 20 or the 11. I'm. Y'all gonna type in the latest one? It's the, the, the 11. Or the. I need my I need my fans to see this. Look how pretty that looks. It's got the little, the little small camera up front, the little small right front here. camera. This is a top notch phone right here. It looks beautiful, man. Look at that. Uh, see. This is what I don't like. Nice and smooth, see. nice and sleek. This is what I don't Thin design, probably made out of see, nice this, titanium this is what and silver. See, this is what I don't like. You, there's no. Where's the home button? What if your iPhone crashes? What if you? There is no home button. No home we don't need a home button. Yeah, but what if you can't swipe no more? We don't believe in buttons. We don't believe what if you can't swipe or anything? You know what if your phone is malfunctioning? I don't trust technology all the time. 
If your phone is sir, working, it is. If your phone doesn't work, your home button isn't gonna work either. So it really doesn't matter. Hey, get you, get you an Android. You see this nice fine Android right here? They can help you with all your data. So, I, I like this Android, but the new iPhone is also cool. But I, I know as somebody who has most of my friends have iPhones, right? Um, I, you know, I, I have uh, people who have Androids, but you know, uh, like they got Androids. Um, I don't even have a phone, but I use an iPhone. But, <laughs> but, 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 what, what's the but? We are over the time for the ID show. Yes, that's true. We so, will. Yeah, uh huh. I appreciate y'all for watching. This is your boy, Bless Episodes. Go ahead and say what's up to him. Bless Talk to him. This is your boy, Acid in the Prodigy. You know the vibes. It's and popping. this is obviously your main host, Adu, from the Adu Show. And of course, my name is Nigel Fitness. We yes, appreciate y'all for tuning in. And we hope that we can see you next time for the next episode. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. They forgot this is our podcast platform, so you can't comment or like or anything. <laughs> I, I didn't say comment. I just said go ahead and watch the next one. That's hold on, hold on. That's all I asked for y'all. You can't watch our podcast platforms. You got to stream it. It's a see see I'm just a part-time host. I don't say things perfect, but you know, this is how we end the show. So let's go. <laughs> we out. Forget this. I'm not even being paid for this. If you would like to view clips, <laughs> if you would like to view clips from today's show, just head on over to Adu's YouTube channel for more exclusive content. That's me. Also, if you want to stream full episodes, head on over to Castbox.fm or Anchor.fm. Both are available for download on the Google Play Store and App Store. You want to sit down and finish this with me right now? <laughs> and finally, make sure to tune, tune in to the Adu show. Only on YouTube.com. Stay cool, live life. Until the next time.